Hello and welcome to the Huntsman World Senior Games Active Life. My name is Kyle Case and I'll be your host on this amazing journey as we attempt to help you get the most out of your life. Joining me in the studio today is my co-pilot, Andy Groft. Andy, how are you today? I'm doing really good, Kyle. Man, I can't believe the games are going on. I, I know. I was just about to say I didn't want to catch you off guard, but the games are here. <laughs> they're here. And it's exciting. <laughs> We've been talking about it all year and planning for it, and now they're here. I know. This is the time that we work towards. It's. Uh, I think there was a song that was written about this time of year, something like, the, it's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> Have you heard that one? Oh, I heard it for a few months after. Oh, oh now. is but, it, is it written for a different time of year? It works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is truly a, a great time of year. It's an amazing time, and the games are here, and we're well into it, and it's been great so far. Oh, so good. Just an amazing, uh, amazing competition. Competition. We've had great weather. Um, you know, wonderful number of athletes that are here, and it's just it's just been great. I think people might be interested to know that we have a record number of athletes that registered this year, yeah. and uh, we're super excited about that. Our previous record was ten thousand one hundred and seventy eight athletes, which is a huge number oh, of athletes. A, that's an enormous event. That's a lot. But this year, this year we have registered ten thousand seven hundred and fifty and change athletes. Wow. So we are closer to 11,000 really than we are to 10,500. Yeah. It's just, just awesome. It is amazing. Just going to be a, a great year and has and, been so far. And I know some people have heard this before, but for those who haven't heard it, in London in 2012, it was 10,600 and yeah, some change. Yeah. And they're expecting around 10,600 in Rio. Right. So we're over that. Oh, uh, bigger than the, uh, the actual the Olympic actual Games. Olympics. So Pretty it's, cool. It's amazing. Well, uh, we are into the middle of the games, and I want to give you just a very brief recap of a few of the highlights that have been going on so far. Because we have 27 different sports, it's kind of like a big puzzle to fit everything together with the scheduling and the, the venues that are available to us. And several of our sports have already started and even finished mm -hmm. by now. Uh, so far, we've finished up target archery, women's basketball, power walking, and race walking. Andy, you know about power walking. I do. I do. The power walkers. You know, race walking is that kind of funny sport that everyone's you know nervous to do because you have to do it perfectly. But right. power walking is just basically walking fast. Walking fast. And they asked me to compete in it this year. I mean, I'm too and young. You, and, and so officially you didn't compete, yeah, but, but, but you just got to, out on the course and you walked with yeah, them. Yeah, just to be with them. And, and the competitive side came out and I really, <laughs> I really actually tried hard. And yeah, they, yeah. several people still beat me. It was crazy. And what's the name that they call you out there? They call me Cakewalk because <laughs> some rumor came around that said that it wasn't a hard sport. It was just a cakewalk, which isn't true. I never said that, but that's what they call me anyway. <laughs> and and uh, the name stuck. It stuck. And we're calling you that around the office now. Mm, I hope not. <laughs> Maybe around town now. <laughs> well, um, so a Andy has uh, participated there, and that's been awesome. That's all wrapped up. Track and field is also completed. Wow. And uh, so far, I think people, again, would be interested to know that we've actually set a few national records in track and field. And we also, I believe, set a world record really? in track and field. So uh, it, it's just amazing. The competition has been fantastic. Well, that's but that's, awesome. that's not all. There's more. Tell me more. Uh, some of you listening might remember Graham Johnston. He was He's one of swimmer. our guests. Uh, it's been several weeks ago, but he was a former Olympic swimmer. He's from South Africa, lives in the States now, but originally from South Africa. I talked with him today, and it still needs to be confirmed officially, but he told me that he's pretty sure he set a world record for the backstroke in his age group. At this game? At this, this game. That is so great. So even in swimming, we're doing that as well. We've set a national record on Monday morning in the 10K road race. I think you were out there I for that. I was out there. In fact, I think I know who you're going to say. Yeah. So, so yeah, we set the, the record there for the 10K, and then we also set the record for the 5k just this morning for a course record Very so cool. lots of great stuff that's going on uh, in addition to the sports we opened up the games on tuesday with our opening ceremonies it was a beautiful night amazing show our guest speaker thorough bailey was outstanding did a great job just got us did standing up clapping he was great did a song with it i mean he that i'll tell you just really quick kyle that opening ceremonies was my favorite so far if it was people awesome are hearing this show and they they didn't make it. You got to make sure you come to the opening ceremonies. It's a great show. It is. It's a lot of fun. Last night, Andy, we had our Hall of Fame induction ceremony where we inducted 13 amazing, incredible individuals who have made an impact in the Huntsman World Senior Games. Everything from athletes to volunteers to administrators. Great, great night. Very fun. And there's just tons of good stuff that's going on. And since we're here in the middle of the games, I thought it would make sense to have a couple of our athletes on the show. So here in the studio joining us, we have uh, 
Ravi or or something like that. Or, or, Ravi. <laughs> or Ravi. Ravi or Ravi. And his beautiful wife Moonjo and they are table tennis players. They've both they both play table tennis. Uh, this is their first year at the Huntsman World Senior Games. Not their first year playing table tennis. They've actually had some uh, significant success throughout their careers as table tennis players. But first time to the Huntsman World Senior Games. And to you, to both of you, welcome, not just to the show, but welcome to the Huntsman World Senior Games. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're excited to have you both with us. And so this is this is what I want to talk just a little bit about. I want, you know, we, we uh, recruit people all the time. We go out, we go on retrips, we, uh, uh, recruiting trips. We have marketing efforts, advertising, all kinds of ways that we try to engage to get people to come and participate in the Huntsman World Senior Games. I want to learn a little bit about your journey of how you went from, I've never been to the games before, to I've come this year and I had such a great time, I'm thinking about coming back next year. So how did you first hear about the Huntsman World Senior Games? Ravi, tell, uh, tell, tell us that story. Uh, actually, I heard it uh, through from my nephew, okay. Suraj, that there is World Seniors game and we should be coming to St. George, uh, Utah. Awesome. And awesome. that was, uh, he, he talked about these games about four or five years back. So it's been a little while that he's been For working a on you. By, while, and then I started thinking, why should I play the seniors game? I'm playing against 18-year-olds. Uh-huh. So although I was over 60, but I was playing against with the 18, 17, and all those athletes. So you then, thought, why not play against people my own age? But that uh, then we planned on uh, when uh, 2012, I think. Yeah. But that trip got canceled, and because of my wife's health, uh huh. And then we planned it again, and this year. We, and here you are. We, here you are. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, we're glad that you made it this right. year. I think it's worth noting. Uh, you you might have noticed an accent. Uh, this wonderful couple is actually from India, but you currently live in Canada. Is that Canada, correct? Yeah. And uh, so, tell us which part of India and and where in Canada? Uh, I I grew up in north of India. Okay. Uh, but grew. Uh, Studied in different part of India, you know, you move around and right. all that. But then uh, when we came to Canada, we landed in Windsor, Ontario. And s- since 1981, I'm in Windsor, Ontario. So you've been there for a while now. Right. And Munjo, are you, uh, Munju, excuse me, yes. are you from the same area as uh, Ravi? From India? Yeah. I uh, No, but we met uh, in a tournament in uh, uh, what can you say? Um, my, my MP is a state. Okay. State championship. There we met. So, so, so wait a minute. So Did this is a say? this is a table tennis romance. <laughs> Did you just say you met in a tournament? <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah. What it was? Was it table tennis? Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. I did not know that. That's yeah. that's news to me. We, we're actually um, becoming acquaintances. Uh, the Suraj, your nephew that you mentioned, is a great right. friend of our family. Right. And right. so right. Right. I know he's been working on you for a while, but I did not realize that you met at a table tennis tournament. That's awesome. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's really become, um, it's a family thing. It's something that you guys have done together for, for quite a while and that you you plan to continue to do together. Is that Most right? probably yes, because I had uh, like I never thought Saint George uh, is that beautiful. Although Suraj said, "Yeah, Uncle, you should come, and it's going to be very. You will like the place and the people." And then I said, "Okay, I'll build. Uh, we will. We will." And then once I'm here, I I couldn't believe it. You've fallen in love with the oh, place. It's, it's amazing. That that happens often. Right. That hap- In fact, I think that happens to all of us at some point. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, we all fall in love with Saint George. So, so uh, let me tell you one thing. You know, when we landed here, I think uh, he drove us from Vegas to Saint George, Utah. Like the moment we entered, it gave us the reminding of like feeling of. We are in India again, you know. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Because the air quality and all that, the places and all, <laughs> we are back home. So you, you felt comfortable. You oh. felt like you were at home. Absolutely. You know, it's funny because we hear that, not that it reminded them of India, but we hear that from a lot of our athletes. It just feels comfortable here. The people are friendly. Of course, sometimes people Very get in true. bad moods or whatever, Very but they're true. friendly. <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, the area is so right. beautiful. It's, yeah. it's comfortable. Yeah. Well, if you're just joining us, you're listening to the Huntsman World Senior Games Active Life, and we're visiting with two of our Huntsman World Senior Games athletes, uh, Ravi and 
uh, Monju, who are, are visiting us for the first time, first time athletes. They both play table tennis, and they just revealed to us that they actually met and fell in love uh, through table tennis, which is really kind of a cool story. So how long, uh, Ravi, have you played table tennis? Did you start out as a young boy or did you pick it up later on in life? No, I started very young and I think Manju started very young too. Yeah. So how old were you when you first said, hey, this, is a, this is a game for 14, me? I was 14 year old, probably okay. 13 to 14 year old. And did you did you have your own table that you played on, or did you go to a recreation center, or how did that happen? Generally, uh, table tennis is a very popular sport in India. Okay. So when we when I was going through like doing schooling, uh, we had one table. You can't call it a table anymore uh-huh. <laughs> because it was nothing but the wooden table, kind of just kind, kind of a, kind of a slab. Piece, of, piece of wood, piece of wood, <laughs> and all that. What is this? And we started. Hitting ball on this, and later on we realize, you know, this is this, this is a great sport, a fun sport. Yeah, yeah, and I picked up right away, and uh, even today I'm playing it. So, Kyle, I, I want to ask these guys. If that's all right. Um, you come here, you're a first year athlete. You know, first year athletes are really important to us. Whenever we see the little name badges, we look on the corner there, and we can see if you're a number one or a number twenty six. You know, some people have been coming for years. But whenever we see the number ones, we always try to welcome them because they're so, you know, it's so important to our games and we want you to come back. Um, have you have you had a chance to meet any brand new people? Have you met people at this event that uh, that there's, have you struck up any friendships? Actually, we did. Some of, some of the people were just coming to us, actually. What's your, like, are you coming here first time? Yeah. And then they will show their badge. You know, I'm here for 10th year. So. <laughs> right. and, and we said, yeah, we are planning for last five years. And then they showed, one guy came to me and actually, he said, this is my 29th year. Oh, my. Or 23rd 28. year, 23 years. Oh, 23. Or 23rd okay. year or something. I said, really? He said, and one guy comes from Sweden every year. Uh-huh. And uh, that's his probably 12th year and all that. And he's a very good athlete. So already you've been able to make some friends. Oh, absolutely. I think, I think one of the reasons I ask is just because so many of our athletes will, when we ask them, well, why did you come back? You know, the second and the third year we ask, you know, you came the first year, why did you come back? And they almost always say three things. One, the competition was well organized and we had a, a yeah. great time. Yeah. Two, the people were so friendly that we made friends. We just want to have a little reunion. And the third thing was that the, that the locals are very supportive and, oh. and, and the area is beautiful. Yeah. And wondered if that was kind of similar for you. That's very true, though. You know, to me, it was double, uh, you know, everything because I was going to see my nephew and uh, and niece came. <laughs> so it's a, it's a gift to me, you know, actually. Well, that's great. Right. Uh, and again, we're so glad that you're here and glad that you have enjoyed yourself. Yeah. Now, uh, today is the last day of table tennis. So table right. tennis is wrapping up and yeah. uh, it takes place over at the Dixie Center. And as soon as table tennis wraps up, we move right into volleyball. Mm-hmm. So you've been playing table tennis for the past four days. So tell us a little bit about how your how your tournament has gone. And I, I know in table tennis, there's a variety of different divisions and, and different uh, ways to actually play with different people and against different people. So tell us on, on Monday, for example, when you guys got here, what what uh, division did you play and how did that go for you uh, uh, competition-wise? Yeah, uh, I entered uh, the age group starts from the Monday and you, you get into the five years period, you know, six, I think it was 64 to 69 so you played in the 64 to 69, 69 age bracket. 69 age bracket, and then that was Monday. And in that bracket, you're only playing against people who are 64 to 69 64 years old. 64 to 69. Yeah. And then I uh, reached to quarterfinals. Okay. In that. Uh, like so you had some success. You won yeah, some that games. That was my best, best show. That was your best show. <laughs> wait, and, wait, what does that mean? You had a great first day, or how did the second day go? Well... At, uh, then you then I entered the uh, mixed doubles. Uh, we played against some very good couples. Yeah, and they were stronger than us. But we enjoyed the <laughs> you know uh, the whole competition was very interesting. Good to us. Good. And the mixed doubles is on Tuesday. That was on Tuesday, and then the last day, which is uh, the Wednesday, was ev- um, rating event. Okay. Like you, you join whatever your rating is, you cannot play under your rating. Okay. 
But so, you can play over your rating. So in table yeah. tennis, uh, it's it's a little bit like maybe tennis is where there is a rating system. Right. And the more games and the more tournaments that you win, the better your rating becomes. That's true. And tennis, uh, excuse me, table tennis, that, that number gets to be pretty high. So what, what's a high a high rating in table tennis? Well, high rating is over 2,000 anywhere, okay. you know, like that's a very good rating. The moment uh, I hear that rating, I know he's a very good You know good he's player. a good player. Yeah. So just as a, as a point of reference, the really good players are in the 2000s, but we have players that come in that are under 900 Absolutely. and they play as well. Absolutely. And if I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but no. what's your rating? Really? My rating is 1650. So you're a, you're a good player too. Right. It's a decent rating. Yeah. Uh, well, anywhere... 17, 1800, those guys are very good too because they know the game. Yeah. They understand everything, but they're a little bit this way or that way. What, what right? about Manju? Can I ask you? Yeah. What's your rating? What was? Uh, 970. 970. So so you would be considered more of a, a maybe in a novice category or, um, or maybe. Yeah, um, yeah, because I didn't want it to go more higher. I had health issues. And I wasn't sure. This is the first tournament I'm playing after. Sure. Uh, uh, would you consider yourself more of a recreational player? You do it just yeah, for fun? Yeah, mo mostly for and, fun. And your husband is more like, I really want to win this thing. Oh, yeah. I'm going for it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I think that's pretty typical of most couples, isn't it, Andy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think there's a few that's different that switch <laughs> that way. But yeah, I think that we, we can be competitive. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you, Manju, we, we kind of asked your husband about his impressions, um, how has it been the actual tournament for you? Did you play people in your same age group and did you kind of uh, do well or do not so well? How was it? No, I, I was pretty happy because, you know, this is the first tournament after my health problem. So I wasn't sure, but I wanted to see my nephew and niece and his wife, family, so that's why I said, oh, San we will go St. George. Yeah, we're, okay. we're coming anyway, and since I'm here, I might as well play a little <laughs> yeah. table tennis, so right? why not, you know? <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm happy because, you know, I, I won two matches, lost one. Oh, so, you won two? Yeah. <clears throat> and you lost the one. I mean, I, to me, it's like, yeah, you could just come to town <laughs> and just visit family and maybe sit on the couch and watch some TV. Yeah. Or you could come to town and meet a whole bunch of yeah. new people, be part of a, a, an exciting, energetic tournament. Mm -hmm. And you win some, you lose some, but you have a great time. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. You're listening to the Huntsman World Senior Games Active Life, and we're visiting with two of our athletes. Uh, originally from India, uh, by way of Canada, they've come here to the Huntsman World Senior Games, Ravi and Manju. Now, you've uh, we've been talking about table tennis and your experience there, but one of the great things about the Huntsman World Senior Games is that we we like to feel that we're beyond a, a simple sporting event. We have a lot of other extracurricular and uh, great social activities that you can participate in. I know that you happen to have, have been... Uh, present at the opening ceremonies. Tell us a little bit about how you felt about the ceremonies uh, as an athlete. Well, first of all, when when uh, I found out that we should be coming to the ceremony also, so I was thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to play a whole day and then go somewhere in the ceremony in the right. evening, which I never heard of that there, this is going to be the opening ceremony. But once I got in there, I was so amazed and I thought, you know, if I would have stayed in my hotel room, I would have missed the greatest event, you know, mm -hmm. like since I got in there after I got to the stadium and everything and saw a number of people and the events, the way they every the little kids are performing, it was it was just outstanding, though. And then that tennis uh, basketball star. Yeah. Thurl, Thurl, Thurl Bailey. Thurl Bailey. He was just the. He was great, Icing wasn't on he? The cake. Yeah, <laughs> he, was he was great. So good. Now, did you participate in the parade of athletes, or did yes. you end? Up, yes, oh, so we you, did. you got to march with yes, your we sport. Did. Like, I could not stay behind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was limping when I was going in. <laughs> how did how did that feel to be marching in? Probably in your white, um, yeah, you know, your white sh yeah. shirt that's given. Yeah, yeah, all right. of the other athletes are wearing this shirt too, right. and you get to march in with all of the badminton. Right, right. Um, I'm sorry, the table, the table tennis, tennis athletes. How'd that feel? Oh, it was great. Like we we were telling ourselves, you know, among the 
players table tennis should be the number one sports and we are the leader of this <laughs> that's that's one of the fun things that right. you know our right. our athletes get to march in right. by sport right. and uh, i think that there really is a bonding and a camaraderie that oh, happens yeah. during that parade of athletes and then like you said you come into that stadium you sit down and you watch what really is a magical uh, evening of entertainment of singing of dance of local talent and uh, there's just a real, real special spirit about the opening ceremonies that just helps bring the games together, I think. And yeah. uh, remind me, the ba badminton um, social, that's... Table tennis. I'm sorry, I keep saying badminton. Table tennis social, has that, did that happen already or is that, is that tomorrow night? Oh, we'll have to check that. But it's gonna that, be it's gonna be tomorrow morning, oh, actually. Oh, that's yeah. right, tomorrow yeah. morning. So that's another. Yeah, we do a way, breakfast for table. That's tennis. another way that you guys will be able to bond, eat together, talk together, and right. just really enjoy each other's company. Oh, yeah. Well, that's guys, great. thank you so much. We've we've just about run out of time, but you've been delightful, right. and we're so excited that you've come and had a chance to uh, participate in the games, and we really hope that you'll come back. Uh, next year and bring some friends with you and, and just uh, continue to stay engaged and involved. Definitely. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you. So, Andy, at the beginning of the show, we talked a little bit about some of the things that have happened with the games already. To close out the show, let's talk about some of the things that are still coming up. Okay. Good. And we still have quite a bit of stuff. Um, first of all, remember that the games run through the rest of this week and all through next week, Saturday the 18th is our last day of competition. So there's still plenty of time to get out and see some of these athletes perform. And l let me just issue a plea uh, to the local residents to please come out and watch these athletes perform. Cheer them on. They're, they're so exciting to watch. And I have never talked to anybody who has gone to uh, a competition, whether that be softball, volleyball, table tennis, swimming, track and field, cowboy action shooting, badminton, whatever it is, I talk to people all the time who say, well, I just I had some time and I just went out to see it. I was blown away. I've never talked to somebody who didn't leave just absolutely um, engaged and impressed and inspired. So come on out and watch these athletes play. You can go to our website, www.seniorgames.net. You can go there right now and view the schedules. You can get the locations and, again, get engaged with this world-class event. Uh, you can almost pick a venue and go. All, all of the spectating is free. There's no cost to get into anything. Uh, tonight, and everyone is invited to this, I want to make sure everyone knows, we have our Western Dinner Dance. What a great way to come out and uh, interact with our athletes. It takes place at the fairgrounds out in Hurricane. There will be a live band, a great Dutch oven dinner, and tons of dancing. We've got uh, $15 at the door. You can't beat that. And if you're looking for something fun to do tonight, come on out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely. I went last year and loved it. It is. It's a great time. Mm -hmm. It really is. Next Tuesday, October 14th, we have our concert and celebration. Now, this show is going to be awesome. It's called Jim Witter's Piano Man, and it's billed as a musical journey through the 60s and 70s, and it's a tribute to the great music of Billy Joel and Elton John. Mm, love both of those and guys. And it is going to be just incredible. And I want to emphasize this once again. This show is free. It's free. It's like $25 in Vegas and free it's here. It's free here. And that is only possible through a generous donation by the Larry H. Miller Group. Mm -hmm. So we're very grateful to them. But it's free to everybody. Absolutely free. So bring your family. Bring your youth groups. Come on out. Get a date. Even come by yourself. Just uh, come on out and celebrate with us. And finally, one last thing. Most of our sports are open to anyone over 50. The only qualification is you have to be 50. But we also host a world championship volleyball tournament called the Global Cup. And this is an invitation-only tournament. The teams come, uh, the teams that do come are representing their home country. So it's just like the Olympics, and we only have one team per country. And these are the best 50 and over teams in the world. And we have them right here in St. George. A lot of former uh, Olympians. World champions. Yep. The, the best that are available. We have teams from Canada, Germany, Russia, Switzerland, and the United States. And they're all vying for a chance to be world champions. You can watch them play their pool games at the Dixie Center starting on Monday. And the finals take place at Desert Hills High School. The bronze medal match starting at 5.30. The gold medal match starting at 7.30. And you will not be disappointed mm. so come on out support these athletes again seniorgames.net please join us next thursday at 4 30 and until then stay active